We all love our smartphones because of how useful they are, but there are some things you probably never knew about them despite using them every day. And today we're going to talk about some secret dialer codes you can access by typing them right in the same way you would any other phone number. And these may be referred to in other places as MMI codes or USSD codes or possibly interrogation codes. They have a lot of different names, but in any case, no matter what kind of phone you have, we're gonna talk about some codes for you. Now quickly, before we jump in, I want to give a big thanks to the sponsor of this video, Audible. I'm sure most of you know that Audible has an unmatched number of audiobooks you can listen to on multiple devices, including iPhone, Android devices, your laptop, even Amazon Echo, plus the ability to control the listening speed either faster or slower. So it's great for if you're listening while you're exercising or to take advantage of your commute time to work. There's also cool stuff like audio fitness programs and Audible Originals, and plus there are free exchanges and the books are yours to keep even if you do cancel your membership. And actually right now for a limited time, you can get three months of Audible for just $6.95 a month, which is more than half off the regular price. So you can also choose to give the gift of Audible to someone else if you want. And to take advantage of this limited offer, go to audible.com slash Theojo or text Theojo to 500-500. And of course, the link will be in the description. Again, that's just audible.com slash Theojo. If you want a personal suggestion, I definitely recommend A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. You've probably heard of it, but if you've never actually read it, this is an awesome way to experience it. And it's even narrated by Stephen Fry. It's seriously an all-time classic, definitely worth checking out. So again, if you want to take advantage of that, the link is in the description. But anyway, let's get into those secret codes. So the first set of codes are for those of you who have a phone running iOS. And like I mentioned, you'll want to just open up the dialing interface. And the best and most interesting one is probably the so-called field test mode, which can be accessed by entering the following code, star 3001 pound 12345 pound star, then hitting call. And this will open a menu with all sorts of technical data about your phone that is probably not very useful to you, but still really cool to see. And one cool thing you can check out is by going to the LTE, then serving cell measure menu and looking for the thing called RSRP0, which is actually the actual signal strength measured in decibels that your phone is receiving which will be between probably negative 40 and negative 130, where negative 40 is the best possible. So this is the actual signal strength, not just the number of bars. Pretty cool. Okay, another neat one is star pound zero six pound. And this will immediately just show you your IMEI for your phone, which is simply a unique identifier that every phone has. And you can actually find this in the settings, but this makes you way cooler when you do it this way. Another code similar to the last one is star pound zero seven pound and then hit call, which brings up a menu full of legal and regulatory information. And again, I think this menu is accessible from the settings, but still it's cool to do it this way. Okay, next up, this one is actually pretty interesting, which is star pound 5005 star 7672 pound. This will show you the phone number that is associated with your cell carrier and is actually the number that all of your text messages are sent to before being forwarded to the person you actually sent it to. So it's utterly useless, but still cool and kind of like a behind the scenes look at how cellular networks operate. Finally, we have a few codes for getting info from your cell carrier. And this one will show you the actual amount of data you've used and have left, not just what your phone tells you. The code will either be star 3282 pound or pound 3282, depending on what cell carrier you have. When you use this one, you should receive a text a few seconds later with the info telling you about it. Another one is to see your bill balance or to see how much you owe. Again, this one is slightly different depending on who you have or as your cell carrier, but it will be either star 255 pound or pound 225 or pound 225 pound. So you can maybe save these numbers as favorites and then that'll be a way to always get a quick update on your cell usage if you wanna keep track of that type of thing. Okay, so that was iOS and now on to Android OS codes. And these operate pretty much the same way as before. You type them right into the dialer. And these ones should work on any phone model regardless of the manufacturer. And fun fact, in the source code for this OS, 
These are actually referred to literally as secret codes, which is pretty neat. So this video isn't just clickbait after all. First up is one for a testing menu, kind of like the field test menu we talked about before. To get to it, type in star pound star pound 4636 pound star pound star. And here you can see a bunch of detailed info about your phone, including signal strength, bandwidth, the type of network you're using, all sorts of fun stuff. And there's other menus with usage statistics and Wi-Fi information. Again, something you can just look through that you might find pretty interesting. Next up, this one is a bit interesting, which is the code star pound star pound 426 pound star pound star. And this brings up an app store debug menu. I really have no idea what this is used for, but hey, most people don't even know this existed. So now you do. So look how cool you are now. All right, the next couple we have seen before, and these will also work on this OS as well. So we have the star pound zero six pound code, which on my phone at least, not only brings up the IMEI, but also a bunch of other phone identifiers and even barcodes for each one. Pretty neat, might not be a bad idea to screenshot that and save it if you think you'll ever need that info in the future for whatever reason. Then there's the star pound zero seven pound, which also brings up some regulatory labels and legal info. And I think this is all just to kind of prove the phone passed certain certifications and testing to be legally sold or something like that. And hey, would you look at that? It's even valid in India. All right, up next is pretty interesting. And I haven't seen this one mentioned in many other places. I actually found this digging through the source code myself, because if you didn't know, this OS is actually open source. And it lets you access a secret visual voicemail menu. So the code is star pound star pound 8862 66344 pound star pound star. It's kind of a long one, bear with me. Now on my phone, there are actually two options in this menu. One is sync, which I'm not really sure what it does exactly. And another one, VVM config override. I believe that stands for visual voicemail. And I wouldn't recommend messing with any of these settings, but it still might be cool to kind of just look at. And we have some stuff mentioning technical aspects of voicemail you probably didn't even know about, and I know I didn't. Okay, finally, this is another secret code that I found myself buried in the source code. And I think this is another one that very few people know existed, until now, of course. And I do believe you need to be at least on Android OS version eight or nine to use this though. I don't think it's in earlier versions. But anyway, it's a weird Easter egg feature called pet mode. Now to activate it, type in star pound star pound 729 pound star pound star. And at the bottom, you'll see the dialer icon change to a picture of a cat and a dog. What this does, which is kind of funny, is now every time you receive a phone call, there will be this animation of a cat or dog paw on the screen, kind of indicating to answer your phone, I guess. And I think there are a few variations that might show up, so different cat paw images or whatever. And obviously this is something that some developer threw in there as a joke, but I like it and you might even want to keep it on, who knows. To disable it again, you can type in the same code and this time it will display pet mode off. So those are all the secret codes that I know of, or at least the ones that I know should work on any phone model. If you have a few favorites, be sure to let us know down in the comments, or maybe you know some that I didn't mention that we can talk about down there as well. So if you want to keep watching, I've got some other videos I think you'll be interested right on here. So if you can check those out and until next time, guys, be seeing you.